Welcome to chapter six. Okay, so this is the introduction for the six project. And in this project, we're gonna be building pricing tables. And it's gonna be a little different because we're gonna be using SAS, which is uh, a, a CSS preprocessor. All right, and there's a few of them out there. There's SAS, and then there's one called Less, which we'll actually be using in chapter 10. And preprocessors are excellent because they allow you to do things that you can't normally do with CSS. Um, you can use, you can have variables, which is probably for me um, the best feature of using a preprocessor. You can set a variable, say for your primary color, and you can go in and use that variable throughout your CSS and then just change that one value for that variable and then the, your entire site could change your, your primary color and it doesn't have to be a color it can be um, spacing a margin or padding it can be anything at all so that's one really nice feature about it um, another you can actually have what's called mix-ins uh, which are basically functions you can have pre-made blocks of CSS that you can easily insert into your style sheets alright so basically we're going to be using that and there's a few different things we need to use SAS, all right? One is the Ruby programming language. It runs on Ruby, so we'll have to install that. Um, and we're also going to install something called DevKit, um, which will allow us to uh, use Ruby commands in the command line. And don't get overwhelmed. Uh, we're not really gonna use the command line. Well, maybe one or two commands and that's it. Uh, and then we're going to use a program called Scout, which is going to compile our SAS code for us and um, generate a CSS file. All right, it might sound difficult, but it's actually really easy. Uh, so basically, the project description, we're going to create some nice looking price tables, uh, which can be used for web service packages such as hosting. Um, we'll use a pure CSS layout, no tables. Okay, these are pricing tables, but we're not using HTML tables. Um, again, we'll be using SAS, which is a preprocessor, allows us to do awesome things with CSS, and we'll set up our SAS environment. All right, so project sections, we'll have our introduction, which we're doing now. Um, we're gonna set up our SAS environment before we do anything. Uh, install Ruby, DevKit, and Scout. Uh, and then we'll move to the HTML of the price tables. Uh, then the CSS, and then we'll use SAS variables, and throughout the project we'll be using different features of SAS. And you can see on the, the right here we have a thumbnail of the project. Basically, um, four pricing tables with different features, costs, uh, and then we have one that sticks out, which would be, I guess, a featured or maybe a most popular package. Okay, so what you'll learn, install the Ruby programming languages, installing and working with SAS, uh, variables, nesting CSS elements, and also importing style sheets. So you can connect together multiple different SAS files and you can actually generate one CSS file from multiple SAS files, which is really helpful. All right, so that's it. So let's get started and I will see you in the next video.